sure that he's got it. Pulls down on that foot. His grandfather, that's Eddie Marlin, promoter in this area, hollering, hold on, Jeff. Hold on, Jeff. And Jeff trying to take it back. And there's an advice from a vet. Eddie's hollering, roll him over, roll him over. Emery putting as much pressure as he can. Jarrett will not give it up. But he's in pain. Seven minutes in, and Jarrett still hanging on. Here he goes. He's got him part the way. He's been taught well. That's the only way you can get out. But he doesn't quite make it. Oh, what a letdown. Emery, his leg hurting, gets up and drops down with a spear. But I think when Jeff rolled him over, it put the pressure on Emery's leg. take one of his shoulders out of action so that he won't have any strength left. And Emery now complaining that the referee didn't count fast enough, that he cheated him on the count of a slow count. But then what else are you going to call but a homer count? Jeff Jarrett now went for it, spinning leg lock, and Emery kicks him right out of it. Eric Emery dogging Jeff now, saying, see why I be the champ. Brad Jarrett slams his head right into the top turnbuckle. Oh, boy. Yep, there's nobody to tag in this match. You're in there one-on-one, -on -one, no it's partner like to tag. One -on -one. It's, it's just tough in that pool. You get down, you just got to deep, reach down there real deep and bring out what you got and give it to him. Boy, there's, there's just times where, where you've got to gut it out, and that's what Jeff's doing now. That's all right, both me and a down right now. from the world-class championship wrestling studios in Irving, Texas. This is Mark Levant saying it all. Wanted to break in when I had a chance to view this tape. I've already seen it all. And the commentary that you all have heard from Lance and Eddie there in Memphis is somewhat one-sided, and it's about to get a whole lot worse. And to save you from the a little disappointment and anger that you would no doubt feel while listening to the one-sided commentary, which was about to really get bad. I have come in to try to give a more objective view of this important title rematch, which started out of the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, back on about the 15th of October. Jeff Jarrett won the World Light Heavyweight Belt over Eric Embry, and this is the rematch in Memphis, and as you can see, it is an outstanding match between these two fine stars as Embry gets a foot in the rope before the count of three is administered. Embry, of course, sided with the home team with World Class Championship Wrestling when the going got rough. Jarrett was out to really make a bad situation worse with the pouting Jerry the King Lawler. Here's another pin for two and not quite three, and the good-looking Jarrett is somewhat frustrated trying to now defend the World Light Heavyweight Belt against Eric Embry. Here's Jared into the rope. Boom! He nails the referee as Eric gets out of the way. And down goes the official. The fans somewhat desperate now as to what is going to happen. Referee being down. Embry has been knocked down and Jared is grabbing something in his hand and nails Eric again. A foreign object has helped take Eric Embry down. And it's a win for Jared, and he got away with murder. 